Monitoring the bandwidth of your internet connection is pretty easy. What I want to show you is what to do with that data. Over the years, I've received a number of requests from people asking me to create a series of videos on network monitoring. So I thought, why not? And I jumped in and immediately saw a giant void. There's a ton of videos out there on how to do the technical details of network monitoring, like how to set up SNMP and, and, and sensors for various equipment types and all that. And that's, that's great. And I'll do some of those videos. But I saw this black hole and I'm like, I've got to dive into that on what do you do with the data that the network monitoring system gives you? Like, how do you know when to upgrade your internet connection. So let's jump right in. I'm going to take you to PRTG, which is the network monitoring platform that we use at VIA for hundreds of clients that we have out here in the west coast of the United States. And this is a client that we have in Tempe. This is literally the live uh, data and uh, so much I could tell you here just just by like how even how to organize the sensors. Here's the MDF, the routers, the switches, the access points and so on. I want to jump straight to the internet connection, which is that guy right there. It says CBI, which stands for Cox Business Internet. And right now it says it's unusually low. Well, of course it is. The coronavirus is happening. Everything's unusually low right now. But but what I want to show you is like, how do we know if if we we should increase the bandwidth from last month, right? But when before everybody evacuated the premises. So um, I'm going to jump back over to that and go to the historic data. And and by the way, you can set up reports for this and and you know have this automated. I'm just going to show you how to do it manually. So I'm going to say show me last month, and I'm going to show you something really important right now. Change the average interval to at least, I would drop it down to at least once every five minutes. The reason I'm saying that, I'm gonna hit start. The reason I'm, I'm, I'm saying to do that is when it comes to bandwidth utilization, it's not the averages you want. As a matter of fact, you probably don't care about the average at all. What you want is the peaks because that's where the performance hits really happen. When, when you've got it slammed for, for five minutes or 10 minutes and Zoom conferences are breaking up and voice over IP is dropping call, like, like that's the moment that you wanna be able to be like, aha, I caught that. And if you're watching it over one hour averages, those will all smooth out. You won't see those peaks where you maxed out the internet connection, right? So, so let me take you back here. Um, so this this is where network engineers everywhere right now, they're gonna be like, oh, you feel my pain because where, where we get frustrated, we see something like this, where it's like, okay, well, your average for the month of February was about four megabits per second. And we all know that's a completely useless statistic, right? Because this internet connection is 100 megabit per second at this site, right? Um, but I mean, four megabits per second for the month of February, I mean, that includes evenings, weekends, times when literally nobody is at the office, right? That's what we don't care about, but that smooths out the average. So I would never, I would never give a report that showed that to the manager because they'd immediately make a judgment call and be like, upgrade, what do you mean? We need to downgrade. What I'm looking at is this. I'm looking at, okay, if it's a hundred megabit per second internet connection, by the way, this is in kilobits per second, so keep that in mind. So so right there, okay, wham, we max out. Okay, right there, okay, right, right. You know, we're getting dangerous. So by the way, my guideline is if I'm seeing 80% use or greater, that's where I go, okay, that's something to look at. Now, I'm not gonna give you a silver bullet right now. I'm gonna give you the tactics to use to get your silver bullet, right? So first off, grab this monthly graph because this is what tells you where were the peaks during the month, but immediately go back right to that, that report. And er, let me clear that all off and also grab the CSV file, right? This will give you all of the data again. And I'm, I'm using five minute averages. You can use one minute averages and, and, you know, download that to, uh, you know, I'll, I'll throw that. I'll, let me just throw that right here. And then my capture scratch, right? Here's my historic data. I'm going to open this up and this is just going to open in Microsoft Excel. And immediately it's like, okay, tons of gibberish. Don't, don't be afraid. Uh, take this. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, take this guy and just space it all out because this is literally every monitoring interval. You can see uh, February 1st, here's my five minutes, five minutes, right, right, right. And I'm gonna immediately go in and say, okay, I don't need this, 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 this. Now, er, traffic total, not something we care about. That is the upload and download values. You don't, you don't really care about that. You wanna see how much was coming down and how much is going up because we live in a full duplex world. So you've got 100 meg up and 100 meg down, right, that you can use. So I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna just say, okay, I'm gonna take this. Boom, right there, delete it. It's gone. I'm gonna take this right about there, delete it, it's gone. And you can, I mean, if you wanna see downtime and things like that, you can, but for now, I'm just gonna do bandwidth analysis. So I'm gonna hit delete and go, okay, this is great. I'm gonna go to the, and I know it's, it's cut up at the top, so let me shrink this down. I'm gonna hit the data menu right here. I'm gonna say, I wanna do, you know, let me highlight these guys and do some filtering, right? 
make this big again. And I'm gonna hit uh, this guy and say, okay, so traffic in. So this is download. I'm gonna say, remember I said 80%? So, and hang on. What I'm giving you right now is kind of down and gritty, rudimentary, but you're gonna see where it leads and you're gonna come up with even faster, better ways of doing this. I'm just showing you how to real quick. So I'm gonna say, uh, okay, let me, these are, okay, er, right there. Oh, hey, let me do this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go backwards. Unselect everything, but I saw one right there. Yikes, when did that happen? Uh, and again, these are five minute averages. So, okay, right there. You see what I'm doing right here? Right there. Anything above 80%, okay, significant. Uh, and, and again, if I if, if I was doing this uh, really tactically, I, I'm sure I would go page by page. So hang on, let me cut all this out. Okay, there we go. I got them all before we drop down below 80%, right? So I hit okay, and what I've done is filtered to just when the download was above 80% or more. This is the dates and times where I would say there was probably some congestion. There was probably a slowdown that happened during that time. And that's and that, that's why I'm saying I'm not giving you a silver bullet. I'm giving you the data that you can use to find the silver bullet. Take this right here and start doing some trend analysis based on what you know about this client. So first thing that I would do is I would grab my screenshot utility. I'd take this and go, okay, capture, snap. And I would take this, paste it into an email, and this and paste it into an email like that. Now I would write some good narrative to go along with this that would allow a manager to understand exactly what's happening. This is where you really need to downgrade your level of speak to something a manager would understand. Watch this. It's not bandwidth report, it's internet use. Month of February. And this is where you go to town. Hi, Bob. Just wanted to bring to your attention, you know, blah, blah, blah. You'd have some nice two sentence introduction that led up to say, this is our use for the month of February, colon. Nice little graph right here. If I were you, I'd also notate a few of the key points on that graph to say, hey, these are some big deals. Draw your manager's attention straight to it. Underneath the graph, that's where you say, I'm not, I'm not saying, we need to upgrade the internet connection to, and that's where you blah, 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 blah. But here are some key points, right? For somebody to look at. And this is where you have to use some logic of what's going on at the company. What's happening on, you know, this day. It seems like, you know, maybe Wednesdays at this certain time, we have some really high bandwidth utilization or, you know, explanation of why and why and why, or, or maybe there is no explanation. And just be like, hey, these were some times of some serious congestion where things would feel really slow, or we might have some video conferences. You see where I'm going with this, right? This is where you take the data that you've been given and put it into a, a spreadsheet that, that allows people to make some decisions based on it. Not just, oh, we need to upgrade our internet connection, actually do some analysis. If it were me just using a gut level, I would look at this and I would go, probably not need to internet upgrade the internet connection unless these were at major times where where you know maybe th th this is a church so maybe they were streaming you know live streaming a service in our coronavirus world uh, of today or or maybe you know maybe and that's that's where you have to know the customer know know your business what are they doing during those times that you hit those peaks maybe that was enough that you're like okay you need to upgrade last but not least i want to give a big shout out to passler who's the company that created prtg because they thought this content was so important, they decided to sponsor it. That said, many of you don't know this, but you can get an unlimited copy of PRTG for free for 30 days that then converts to a 100 sensor version of PRTG that's free for the rest of your life. And with 100 sensors, you could fully monitor your house. <laughs> well, most houses anyway. Um, and oftentimes even a small business at no cost whatsoever. So if you wanna grab that, head on over to passler.com forward slash Jeremy. Otherwise, click the link in the description below. Until then, my friends, keep it simple.